previously on Complete Games. I know some of you down there are going to be thinking, ah, oh, James, you can't cheese it by taking a free Rex. And to that, I'm going to say, yes, I will. This one's a freebie. It's not the Skylord. Is it the Cunning, this one? I can't remember. Yeah, Artifact of the Cunning. Well, this is a pretty flat surface, so I could set up a trap here, but there's a 135 Argent over there. It's just fighting that Carno. Hey, well, whoa, 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 that's not a Carno, that's a Megalosaurus. Oh, no. Oh, mistakes were made. Oh, I'm going to have to throw the Rex out. Oh, we're going to lose Spidey. This is, this is bad. Oh, I just had a brain fart. Oh, Spidey, come here. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, it's all gone, Pete Tong. Oh, no. I do have a problem. Um, they, they call it idiotis. It's a problem when uh, my brain stops working, but my mouth continues to move. So feel free to give me a slap and then run away for that one. But I, I don't know why I thought that was a carno. What an idiot. <laughs> oh, now we're stuck here. I've got to tame something, otherwise we can't get back. We're stuck on this floating island. Oh, this is bad. Hello there and welcome back to some more Complete Arc and this time we're going to be taking on our main base build and what I want to do in this episode is I want to build around this rock in front of us here. It's kind of blocking this beautiful view that we have over the bay area and I'm just going to work this into the build so it's going to be a little bit tricky and I'm just going to just try and work with it but I've got a rough idea of what I want to put together mostly I just want to cover up that rock so we don't see it anymore and unfortunately we can't smash it now in the background I did grab a couple more tames I've got an Anki and I did tame up a beaver as well so I could get some resources together they were pretty easy tames that I've just done off camera and uh, yeah nothing too tricky you didn't miss anything nothing really happened while we were taming that but while i think about it when i logged in today it seems like the crew are taking the mick out of me they've uh, built a little tribute here just to tell me the difference between a carno and a megalosaurus so cheers for that guys i did laugh when I logged in actually but I wasn't recording at the time I wasn't expecting that but thanks for that I'm sure I won't forget that mistake again um, so yeah this just get stuck into this build I know it's gonna be a bit messy but we'll just build along because I know a lot of you kind of like me to show this bit off and I don't profess to be a master builder or anything but I do have a few tricks up my sleeve which I hope to share with you so let's just get this lined Okay, I'm just taking my time to place this first foundation because this is what we're going to be working off if we get this one wrong. And I need to raise it as high as we can because we're on a little bit of an uneven surface. It sort of sinks down on one side and we're going to have to use some tricks to get around that. So let's just come out this way. And already this rock is actually much bigger than I anticipated okay we can't really come any more out that way because the foundations sink a little bit too low and let's just come out on this side I'm not actually quite sure how many we've done so that's two we're gonna come out four this way and is that Three, four, and six. So six foundations is not really going to work. Um, so I'm just going to place some windows down here. I think I've put six foundations going down along the front. If I have, I'm going to need to change that if I can. Let's just count this. So got one, two, three. Or, yeah, so it's six, and I want to change that into five. So let's just get rid of this foundation here. 
Now, for many years, I worked in hotel and catering at a Michelin star level. And if you want to win any awards, you really need to follow a couple of rules. So if I was plating up a starter of scallops, I would work to like threes or fives. You need to work in odd numbers. If you're gonna plate something up in like a four or a six, it just doesn't work and you're gonna lose them points because the first bite is with the eye. And that applies here as well. So we've got five windows along the front. If I'd have put that sixth one in, it would just look off. And the same principles apply when it comes to buildings. Of course, we wanna work in symmetry. So I've man managed to make this come in. We've got five windows going along the front. I wanna repeat that pattern on the other side. So when building, just try and work, if you can, in odd numbers. Threes, fives, sevens, you get the picture anyway. I'm just gonna have to come out again. Now, of course, when it comes to architecture, we're not talking about food, we need to work with symmetry as well. So it needs to mirror the opposite side. Of course, these rules don't always apply, but if you think about it like that, you're gonna be onto a winner. And I don't confess to be any type of master builder, but I can put something together that looks a little bit better in a box. And it's just working with these rules. So try and work in odd numbers if you can and symmetry. So we've got five windows and then it comes out on each side. So it's made it seven. Unfortunately, a little bit bigger than I anticipated. Let's just get a little bit of a roof curving up here and see if it goes above this rock. I think it's going to work. And we'll get some ceiling up as well. Now, I think you can get put off of building, especially when you see how good some of these arc builders can be. And, you know, you can sort of think, oh, I'm never going to be able to do that. But it is possible. And I hope that I'm going to share some tips with you. Okay. What I want to do is I want to have a different texture. I want to flip the wood around on the outside of this building. And, of course, there isn't any structures plus on this server. We're using vanilla buildings, so you can do this on console as well. I'm just going to put some ceiling on the outside, and that means we can flip this wall around. Now, on PC, if you just press E, you will be able to flip your walls around, but they won't line up. That's why I've put some ceiling around, just temporarily, so we can click it down, and it, it places it correctly. If we were to just press E, there would be a mismatch in our build and you would just, it's just much neater if you do it this way. So temporarily just put some ceiling down on the outside and you can flip your walls around. Like so, and like I say, we are using vanilla building mechanics to do all of this stuff. There you go. So we've managed to get that texture on the outside. So once again, we've done the same thing on the opposite side, so it's symmetrical. And I just want that texture on the outside with the logs on the inside. And it just makes things look a little bit different to your typical square builds. So let's just have a look how this looks from outside. There we go. So we've got the five windows on the outside. Like I said, if we was working with even numbers, it just wouldn't look quite the same. And Again, we've got a bit of symmetry going on here and them two things are pretty much key when designing anything like that, from plating up food to designing a building. Now for my next trick, I'm going to show you how to raise and lower foundations. I've shown this one off many times before when it comes to building boats, but all you need to do to lower foundations is just stick a pillar in the middle of a foundation. That creates another snap point we we'll just come around this side, you can see we can lower the foundation. So lowering a foundation is really easy. But when it comes to raising a foundation, we've got to go through a couple of extra steps. It does take a little bit of time sometimes, but we've just put a ceiling on. We need to come out like two more. And then we're going to put a pillar on. And we'll see that this pillar pokes through the top, that ceiling. We place the first ceiling on top of the pillar and this then creates the raised snap point and you can see it but 
it's not going to let us do it. We'll probably have to go around to the other side. Like I say, when it comes to arc and its building mechanics, it can be a little bit finicky. It's picking up on all, all sorts of stuff. Let's just try to the side of it. There we go, just there. Um, yeah, that looks higher. So we've just gone up one. And yeah, that'll work. As you can see, just coming out to and placing that pillar in that way, we've managed to create this other snap point. So now we can work backwards and everything is going to link together. So to lower a foundation, just place a pillar in the middle of your foundation. But to raise it, you're going to have to come out by three and place the pillar just like I just showed you there. It can be a little bit tricky, but now this is all going to match up and we won't have grass sticking through on our building. And this should look a lot better. Now I want to raise it up again. So we've gone one higher. I want to go two higher because, as you can see, things do get a little bit higher just here. So we're going to raise the foundation up by two. And again, you can see if we come over to this rock, the pillar is sticking through that ceiling. The first pillar ceiling we placed on top of that pillar, and the second pillar placed within the ceiling. Again, creating this new snap point. And just place it next to it like that and there we go we've gone up an extra two and everything is going to link together getting the foundations correct really is key to have everything match up when we get to the top so if you don't do this part correctly nothing else will work but hopefully now that's high enough that we don't have any grass sticking through it. We might have a little bit there, but that's fine. Could have raised it up again, but I think that's fine. I think what we do is come out and eventually I will do something with that rock in the middle. We'll just get our building together first. There we go. Let's say arc and its building mechanics. It's just a case of having patience and sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But yeah, I think raising it up by two is just enough. If it doesn't want to click in that position, we'll just build next to it like that and then eventually we'll find the correct point. Ooh, that one's gone down as well. The more raised points it has to snap onto, the easier it is. Let's get this. That one looks right. right. Oh, okay, that one's gone right. This one was just being awkward, but it should be fine now because it's surrounded by the correct level, so we should be able to find that one. Should be able to find that snap point. It's just a typical arc. There we go. I just saw it there. Just have a little bit of patience and you'll find these snap points. Okay, yeah, we found that one. Let's just come out one more to this side. Guess. Just to create another texture, I might come out three more. another point. This build is definitely going to be much bigger than I anticipated but this is generally how I build in Arc. I don't tend to have a set plan. I just have a rough idea and I think this might end up being a good example for you all because I'm just kind of building around the rock and we just see what we end up with rather than having a plan. Okay, I'm just going to grab some windows and I want to come around to the front entrance now. I've just come out one more because I didn't want to look too square. And let's see how we look here. So can we do three on one side, three on the other? Mm, perhaps not. Three. Might have to play around with this a little bit and perhaps put a wall and two doors on the opposite side. OK, 
again looking for that symmetry and it's not always a rule to follow but nine times out of ten it's best to think that way and mirror what you're doing on the opposite side so if I put that there perhaps in the middle I'll put a wall two three yeah it's not gonna quite work as you can see we've got four on that side three on that side so okay so three and then I'm gonna put a wall in the middle and have two doors either side of it it's just the way that the building has made us go we just need to keep with that symmetrical pattern once again we're using that ceiling trick because I want that texture on the outside so we're gonna have to come on the inside and then we can have the logs facing inwards and if I was to press E and flip these round the opposite way there would just be a gap in what we're doing and as you'll see I haven't got a ceiling in front of here if I press E can you see that gap there it just somewhere around our build we'll end up with something like that so that is why I'm placing the ceiling at the front okay so I want to make some sort of porch way at the front entrance here and I'm probably gonna have to go three or five like I say always work in odd numbers if you can so that's three we could place a triangle there I think we're gonna have to come one more on each side and make that a five and due to the size of that rock it's just forced me to think a little bit bigger a bit off a little bit more than I can chew okay so let's do a three above the doors and just to make this a little bit more interesting we're gonna play around with the ceilings and uh, just add something else to this build so we've got the roof coming out as well as down okay just put a triangle on the end and then we can get the roof coming down at the other angle as well and this is going to create a really nice intersection just above the door and we might not be able to get up there yep yeah, if we can just might need to use the argent of course it's all very well doing this in creative mode and flying around your base but we're doing this for real so just use the argent now if you hold X you will actually just stop in the air if you're on PC it's a big tip when it comes to building and yeah it does take a little bit of time there we go have this coming down as well one going that way and then I might have to fly up there just to get above it yeah it doesn't want to give me that snap point sometimes you have to pick them up and remove them but just hold X if you're on PC and you're just kind of freeze in the air and it makes building a lot easier just gotta sort of play around with it there, ooh, there it was just stop 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 Holding X can be the break. I might just have to jump off to do this. Oh, typical arc. There we go. Okay. So you can see, I've kind of got this different texture coming out from the wall, and I like that. I use that quite a bit if I can, and it can be a little bit finicky to do. Just have the wood coming out on this side. I think we'll have the logs facing outside and I'm going to put a porch on this let's use some wood for our porch area so there we go let's say we've come out in a five ideally I would have liked to have done this as a three but unfortunately the rock has forced us to build a lot bigger than I wanted to I'm just going to switch these rounds to block a lot nicer coming in from the front so my next big tip is when it comes to pillars you need to be able to place a fence foundation 
in order to create another snap point. Otherwise your pillar is just going to snap to the middle. So quite often if I want pillars going up the side of my building, just use a fence foundation, creates another snap point. Then we can put the pillars at the edge and give that appearance of support. And I'm not sure how many pillars we want to do here. Again, fence foundation, pillar on the outside, like so. And it's starting to come together. Let's just get some fence posts in, see what we're working with. So, two. That bit's going to be the entrance way because we've come out five this time. I think we need some more pillars down. Okay. Again, I need to create another snap point for these pillars, but I'm fairly happy with how that's looking so far. Just take a little bit of time to do. I definitely need to give the appearance of some more support here. So let's just get some foundations out. like it's gonna let me put one there because I put the fence post down and get one yeah just underneath this ramp and then we've got another two snap points for the pillars and I think I'm gonna swap that ramp round for wooden stairs okay yeah I might put a couple more in let's get rid of this ramp I'm gonna swap that for stairs Put some wooden stairs in just there. And I'm just feeling that we should put a couple more pillars in just to give it some extra structural support or the appearance of. Yeah, I think that will do it. And we've got that porchway on the front. So, like I say, I would have preferred it to be a little bit smaller than it has been. I think I've bitten off a little bit more than I anticipated with the size of this rock. But slowly coming together. And, yeah, I'm happy with it so far. So once again, we need to come up higher. And we don't need ceiling on that side. But we will on this side. As you can see... I'm going to need to do that ceiling trick again just around the outside here so we can get that texture on the outside and if we don't do this part then we're just going to have a mismatch the important thing is the foundations are all correct and if you get them wrong then you're going to mess up your build somewhere along the line there we go Okay, let's just build these up here. Of course, this side's higher than the other side, so it will all clip in nicely at the end. So I want to get away from these square builds, so I'm going to use another little trick here and create a veranda. Okay, one and here we go. So I'm going to have to put a ceiling on the outside here. You can see, let's just get rid of this. You can see exactly what I mean pretty clear here if we place this down or if I flip it around with E I'm going to end up with these horrible gaps and they always frustrate you in the end so can you see if we place that down how mismatched it is and I don't know it always frustrates me when that happens so just to get around that we're going to have to place a ceiling in the front just to clip it there we go and that's gone the right way on this side as well let's just build up these walls so they're going to need to come back this way great so I'm going to put two triangles on this side and 
just thinking, do I want to come up one more with this? I might not be high enough. I might want to come up one more. And I think that's due to the fact that I've got five windows instead of three windows. I might want to give this a little bit more height. Let's just see what it looks like before we commit to that. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not too sure. Let's just build this in. And say I want to create this sort of veranda and a viewpoint above this rock here. Let's just have a look. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it doesn't look quite right. Um, so I'm going to swap that around. It's just not coming up high enough for my liking. Okay, so a couple of windows just here. And it's going to give us some headroom on this veranda as well if we do this. side. Okay. Yeah, I think that's going to work a lot better. And I'm going to enjoy it. I'll end up putting a seat out here or something. And we can enjoy our view all over the ruins and out towards the river there. So now we've got a bit of headroom. I'll just put some ceiling on. Three. Again, another odd number. So it's all what adds to that effect. Yeah, yeah, I'm liking that. Gonna have plenty of room just on the outside overlooking the bay area. So we're gonna have to come up just as high on the opposite side as well. Okay, just gonna come over again with the RG. I say just use X and that'll put on the brakes. There we go. Okay, and let's just put something for the ceiling to clip on. And then we're just going to use that trick that we used on the porch on the other side. And I always like it when you do this with the roof, you know, having these triangles come out, it just gives a different type of edge and, you know, it just ups your building game a little bit when you're doing this, I think, anyway, I think, and it gets away from them square builds. It's not too difficult, it's just time consuming, that's all, it's just time consuming, but remember, just hold X on the argent when you're floating around like this to put on the brakes and just have a little bit of patience with it. Get there, we'll find them snap points and you'll end up with less square buildings. Again, symmetry, a word I'm using way too much but we're gonna do exactly the same trick, just a little bit wider on this side and I'm also going to have a porch coming on the inwards so we can step out on a platform on this side as well. And um, yeah, it's coming together now. Okay, let's just keep on coming again. Just doing that fancy trick with the roof. And I think this really is what sells these type of builds. It's an angle that just looks really nice and sometimes you just have to take away one of the ceilings so you can find the clip points just like that but I think this is really kind of like what ups your game just a little bit with this trick and yeah this one's going to come up higher than the other one but I'm happy with this so far a bit of scaffolding out this way so we can get over here and there we go so I want the ceiling coming up and coming back down 
and we want we want it doing the same on that side as well and it should in theory all link up you shouldn't see any joins at all we did that thing where we raised the foundations and I'm confident that it's all gonna match up in the end let's just do the same on this side and this time around we've ended up with a building that is far from looking square got lots and lots of different angles and stuff coming up and basically just followed a couple of rules for building in arc that is keep it symmetrical and work with odd numbers if you do that I'm telling you you're gonna up your game hugely there we go so let's come up this way here and down the other side as well so now I don't know what I'm going to use this building for maybe a display area and put some vaults inside it I mean with the amount of ruins and space that we've got around but I didn't want to do the whole season living out of a smithy okay let's just put triangle on this side and then as you can see we're just going to do the same thing coming down on the opposite side and just put the ceiling down if I can then we can step on the roof just put the brakes on the argent there we go it's coming up that way and coming down this side and as you can see that's where the join is that's where we raised the foundations but we would never know when it comes together at the end you know it's all worked out and you just can't tell so that worked out really really well and as long as you get the foundations correct the roof is going to go on correct as well and yeah, I'm happy with how this is turning out. Well, I'm finally done with our little base build here and I know I'm not like a professional builder or anything, but many of you do ask me to show as much as I can when it comes to building. So I hope I've been able to at least show you some of the rules that I follow when it comes to building, but this is what we've ended up with. And I've just given it a lick of paint. We've used forest green on the roof and that's the only thing I've painted at the moment but I always find that when it comes to the stone ceilings they always take really well to painting and again you know just taking that time out to give it a lick of paint always always improves things so there's one more thing that I want to put on and that's our veranda I'm gonna put a door on here and of course I'm still to decorate the inside of this building but I'm probably going to do that off camera figure out where things go you can cover up that huge rock in there with vaults and I'm not quite sure yet but let's put I don't know let's put some fence posts along the front here just to give it that final touch again oh I want to put it there we've added a different dimension to our build here and we're gonna do the same on the other side which I think is the most important side but yeah I'm liking that just how it comes in and it's just you know the furthest thing from a square boring build yeah it's taken a little bit of extra time to do could definitely probably put some window panes in there as well give it a bit more paint we'll put some lights around it it will look a lot more better when we put some finishes touches on there and yeah, I'll just jump down here. Like down below, I might end up putting some artifacts in them windows just to give some light coming out or something. Let's jump up here. So on this side, I just want to put a door and a roof in. And this bit just here is going to be where we can come out and have a nice view all over the bay. And again you know just having it come inwards as well 
And yeah, we've managed to cover up that ugly rock, which really was what I intended to do in the first place. And I think I'm going to build around the outside. We'll obviously get some sort of greenhouse out here, probably put some more foundations down. And uh, I'm probably going to be living outside of this building and probably using this more as a storage area. And of course, when you get inside, you've got this rock here. But I think I'm going to be able to put vaults down all along this front bit. And eventually we won't see the rock at all. We can put some lights down, shining out the windows, put some window panes in. And as you can see, I can definitely build something coming down ramp wise to get up onto that veranda so we can enjoy the space up here. And just want to give a couple more wooden panels up here that I've missed. So I guess I don't know how many building pieces I used in this build. A lot more than I anticipated so it's always good to have plenty of these resources all made up before you begin. I made up plenty of them but unfortunately this rock was just a lot bigger than I anticipated but I'm pretty sure that I'm going to be able to put some of them giant vaults in front of that rock, build above it and you know it's all going to act as a nice storage area and of course I'm going to utilize the front here we'll get an industrial forge out the front probably put a lot more foundations down and then we've got these ruins here which are really really good I think for building we're going to be able to do some breeding areas in there but yeah, I'm, I'm happy with how it turned out. It ended up being a lot bigger than I anticipated. Let me know down in the comments if that was any use to you. I know a lot of the building guides can generally have what resources they ended up using. I guess you're just going to have to guess. I used plenty of stuff, but just, yeah, have as much crafted as possible. And it's kind of just one of those we've had to work with. The important things to remember is keep it symmetrical and try and work in odd numbers and then you're going to end up on the right track from there and yeah hope you enjoyed that one until next time i'm james from complete games and i'll see you